Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Island. Here we are for another one of our Total Warhammer 3 Legendary Lord introductions. And we're now coming to the end of Warriors of Chaos. We've done all of the Wood Elf Lords. We've done all of the Warriors of Chaos Lords except Belakor. Belakor himself. So we're now going to be doing a introduction essentially to the Belakor campaign. It's the first 50 turns, normal battle difficulty, normal campaign difficulty with no auto resolve. And it's completely vanilla, no mods as well. So, without further ado, let's look at the Shadow Legion, which is Belagor's faction, and what he starts with in his faction effects. So, we can see that starting army we've got in there, we've got some Bloodletters, we've got some Pink Horrors, some Chaos Warriors, we've got some Spawn of Slanesh in there, some Plague Bearers of Nurgle, so a whole mix of demon units, uh, as well as some Marauders, some Demonettes, and a spawn of Zinch as well. So an interesting uh, eclectic mix. Uh, faction effects and human lords can be corrupted into becoming demon princes when defeated in battle or targeted by heroes. That's pretty cool. Uh, starts with all chaos gift uh, god gift slots and minus 25% upkeep for demon units. So demons clearly going to be key uh, across the faction. Uh, but not forgetting there are the human units as well. And then Lord Effects here we've got all authority is plus two. And ability Shadow Shroud, which is a Lord Effect of um, uh, plus 40% damage resistance for 20 seconds. Which is pretty nice. Now, if we go and look at Bellacore's starting position on the map, they start us in Albion, which is this little island up here. So um, initial thoughts are, yep, we've got threats from the Dark Elves here. We've got threats from Ulthuan here, and we've got threats from Bretonia here, and Bretonia probably being that nearest threat. Obviously, we do have sort of the Chaos Warbands and things around here. Uh, there's a Dark Fortress on this island and more here, so initial thoughts are is secure the island and then move across into here and secure a few more, a few more Dark Fortresses uh, and see how aggressive Bretonia, the Elves, and... Um, uh, the Dark Elves are. Uh, I'm not too concerned, I don't think, uh, about the Empire to start with, at least. They're going to have their hands full with Festus and Beastmen here, Orcs here as well. So I think that will be relatively safe. So I'm thinking secure Albion and then move into this area. That's initial thoughts. But, uh, you know, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. So let's see uh, how it goes. So without further ado, let's start the final of the Warriors of Chaos legendary lord introductions uh, before we move on to the vampire camps the one thing you have to say is some of the artwork in this game is uh, is absolutely fantastic clearly some of it is also you know normal warhammer artwork but uh, some of it spe specifically for this game and uh, has been done very very well indeed okay as we load up the bellacore campaign i've never actually played bellacore this is my first time playing with this legendary lord so it's an introduction for me as well as you uh, and that's really what the purpose of these are this is not to show you the best way to play the lord it's an introduction of kind of how the lord is how the lord plays what does it look like what's his starting position look like um you know it kind of helps you when you're making your choice about which faction and which lord you might want to uh, play first so let's jump in here we go there's albion right what there have we got no escape from the dark master no escape from the dark master so how they play typical um uh warriors of chaos with warbands dark authority path to glory um gifts of chaos dark fortresses which we'll come on to most of that as we progress through so i'm not going to labor that right now uh so it does look like we've got a lord of change up here we are at war with him um we've got ourselves an exalted hero which is not a bad uh place to start there's the dark fortress that we want and if we take that we'll vassalize these guys so first thing i want to do is I want to put um the exalted hero into here 
Uh, in terms of research, well, we're starting with that first one, so there Shadows we go. Clear. Uh, and of course, he does have a slightly different skill tree to those specific legendary lords like Valkyr and so on. Um, right. Uh, okay, so Unholy Manifestation. So this is new. Cooldown activ activation, and we get Gift of Blood Letters. Okay. Number of uses, sacrifice souls. Okay, so this is something we're going to be able to use later on. That's interesting. Right, this is our Gifts of Chaos. That's normal over there. And then as a Diplonius here. And what's our victory conditions here? So we've got to destroy or vassalize Seduces of Slanesh. Decadent host, which is Sigvald. Sigvald is directly north of us. The Sightless, that's the guys we're going to fight with at the beginning. And Seduces of Slanesh. Okay. And then in terms of what we need, uh, four of the following. A lot of these areas are north or um, just to the uh, east of us here, so that's fine. And that will be the short victory in 35. And for short victory, you get winds of power. Long campaign then. Yeah, it's just cities. And yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, very interesting. Warband upgrades, there shouldn't be any to start with here, but uh, what can we recruit? Gifted units, well, I'm going to take all of those. Um, and demons are minus 25%, right? We've got ourselves a hell cannon as well. No regiments of renown, and uh, we can't afford to pick those up, which is fine. So now we've got double of all the demon units, uh, double set of marauders, but we've got a hell cannon in there as well, which is quite nice. Right, Since good. So let's go straight after uh, this Lord of Change. Decisive victory. The casualties are low. He's got two blue horrors and some furies um, and that Lord of Change. So not really worried about that. Let's go straight into the battle. I think the interesting thing for me will be here is, is that, you know, Bellacor, he should be a bit, monster, bit of a monster in combat. So we'll see how he does in combat himself uh supported by the exalted hero so we're going to put him into the lord of change um while we uh rush into combat uh with those blue horrors as quickly as possible okay so bellacore in the middle here there's our horrors yeah they're in behind uh, like so uh, hell cannons right up here not a bad layout actually let's channel some magic start the deployment take everything but the hell cannon and let's move up and let's have Bellacor straight into the lord of change there and Bellacor should be pretty quick Uh, Hell Cannon already engaging. Right, so I'm going to have all of these go into those blue horrors. We're going to have these into these blue horrors and these into there. Excellent. Enfeebling Foe. Let's put that on here. Okay. And let's cast that onto the larger unit. The Furies there have really been the ones that were the problem because they were kind of like blocking. But what I'm going to do now is I want to get those pink horrors onto those Furies. Bellacor there continuing to engage that Lord of Change in aerial combat. And I think I'm going to switch and now have those pink horrors go after the Lord of Change. And let's cast the Enfabling Foe on the Lord of Change. And there we go. This should be over now pretty quick. So, Bellacore, you know, reasonably tough in combat there, as you'd expect by the looks of it. 
Um, yeah, that is a greater demon after all. And he's gone. There you go. Decisive victory. Uh, end the battle. So those Furies actually were the fly in the ointment. I wanted to get into combat with the Lord of Change straight away, but the Furies actually blocked me. Um, but overall, 32 losses, mainly to that spell that was cast. 361 to the enemy. They are destroyed. Um, better course took a bit of damage, but I'm okay with that. Excellent. Let's move on. And what are we going to take from that? Um, we're going to take the favor. Uh, Path of Glory unlocked, which is very nice. Thank you for that. And then let's have the Root Marcher for Bellacore. And let's have training for our Exalted Hero. And now let's go straight after this Dark Fortress. So it's going to be a close victory. There's lots of shooting here. Uh, but they shouldn't be that tough overall. And, okay, fight the battle. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Just have to be careful of that shooting that Bellacore doesn't get too focused because even him uh, will struggle. And we've got those Furies as well. So I think we're going to bundle on the gate and use our Hell Cannon to um, assault things, maybe like the towers, if we can see where we're going to assault from. Interesting thing with this battle is uh, in nearly all the other um, battles I've played uh, are going after the Dark Fortress at the beginning. Um, we haven't, we've had it as a, as a field battle. Uh, so the fact that we are now doing this as um, as a siege is different to how we normally uh, do it. So that's quite interesting. So I want actually like that with you in here. Bellacore over here. What have we got left? We've got these guys... You can go at the back. And who is left? Who is left? Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the warriors themselves, they can go here. So what I want is I'm going to have the warriors. Now I'm going to have the plague bearers and the spawn and the exalted hero are going after the gatehouse. So let's channel the magic. Uh, start the battle. They're going straight after that. The Hell Cannon is going after the tower. And then I'm going to have the Warriors and the two units of Marauders are going up over ladders. Let's see. The Hell Cannon, yeah, it's, nah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, now we're going to move the pink horrors up to here. And we're starting to put some uh, damage now on that gate. Okay. Right, again, I'm loath to put Bellacore straight in because I do feel like he'll get focused initially with all of those blue horrors. So now up we go. Those blue horrors on the walls are now going to um, have to deal with combat, which we know they're not the best at. And 
looks like they may well even be running. Once that gate's down, then we've got a gonna have a much easier time of it. We're missing the Shatterstone ability here, which would have been uh, fantastic. So we've got our pink horrors, which are now gonna put some uh, hurt on their blue horrors. You can see there we're already starting to melt their shield, which will do well for us in the combat. Fury's coming up as well. The gods demand it. Excuse me. All right. So, so far, so good. The gate is nearly down. The tower is about halfway down. gate is open which is fantastic that's what I want I want to get in onto these guys as soon as possible and now what I want to do is I want to bring Balakor in over here and I want these guys to push in through the gate as well and uh, it looks like we are winning the war those furies are starting to go um, this unit of Blue Horrors have lost their shield. Now they've lost their shield, that's quite a big deal. So we can get a cast on these guys. So I am going to have to watch it with Bellacor here. I want to get in combat with this unit so they stop shooting. There we go. They're in combat now. These guys being pushed on here. Bellacor still holding on. Let's give him some damage resistance too. And let's put some enfeebling foe on these guys as well. And let's also put it on this unit here. All right, so the walls are clear now. So let's go and help out our uh, exalted hero. Not that it looks like he needs much help. Those pink horrors are on him as well. We've captured the gate. Bellacor holding nicely here. And uh, these guys should be starting to go very soon. They've gone. So these guys can now come over here. We're going to hold with these um, so that we don't cause too much friendly fire. There goes the tower. So let's hold with that hell cannon. And are they gone? And they're all gone. And that's it. There you go. So pretty nice there. We held reserves. We didn't take too many casualties. Only 119 on a siege with no Shatterstone. Bellacor took a bit more damage there, but we should be able to recover that now uh, as we move into the Dark Fortress on the first turn. And I think for me that's critical, is getting in that Dark Fortress. But as I say, interesting one. Uh, a lot of the other lords, particularly up in the Chaos Waste, that first battle when you go to the Dark Fortress on the first turn is a field battle. Uh, Bellacors, uh, and I think one others that we've done has now been a full-on siege. Right, so we did get 460 total favour, 2,000 experience, and the Trickster's Shard. Very nice, and we are going to occupy and vassalize. Again, very nice. So we have now secured um, the Vanaheimlings as our vassal, uh, which is incredibly useful. Bellacor getting some nice um, recovery there. No more gifted units to, uh, to make use of, but we can take these. Uh, undivided um, at the moment, authority is five, so I'm happy to keep uh, my, um, uh, essentially my human uh, based uh, uh, troops as undivided. So, uh, skill points here. So, interesting. What are we going to go for? 
Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to boost Bellacor to make him tough and good in combat. So let's boost that armor and uh, our exalted hero as well. Uh, Gifts of Chaos, as you can see, we've got a few here. Now, the first one I definitely want is not here. So Shatterstone is what I want. And Shatterstone is not. Oh, there we go. It's here. Ruinous Bulwark. That's what I want. That is just such an awesome ability. So we're going to take that one as our um, undivided. And then I think given where we are with souls and things right now, I'm not going to choose any more gifts, but we do have them available for later in the game, uh, which is perfect. Right, so and building upgrade here. So the first thing I'm going to do, ooh, what's that one? Control, income from all buildings, 10% uh, control. So nice, but actually I'd rather have the favor and uh, we'll go for the growth after that. So let's end the turn here. Okay, so they have reconstituted that army in the Citadel of Lead. Two hundred and seventy two factions. The World Walkers have confederated with the Bjornling on turn one, no less. Right, uh, so we can't get that yet. That's 2,000. So, um, right, Bellacor. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, the army's pretty much back, so we can go after Citadel of Lead and let's get this one wrapped up. So, what have we got in here? Well, we've got ourselves a wizard spellcaster, some blue horrors, and some furies. No real problems there for us. So, let's fight the battle. So this is going to be a field battle again, which is nice. The one good thing with demon units is you don't need to rank them up too much to make them their exalted. So let's channel some magic. Uh, that's roughly what we had before, which is fine. We can get lucky with the magic. Um, right, deployment. Let's move everybody up. Hell Cannon can engage straight away. Let's engage the Blue Horrors. This time I win. Right, actually, I'm going to pull. I'm not going to rush in with Bellacor this time. He is damaged. Um, they do have four units of those uh, Blue Horrors. So. Um, we go! Let's come in here like so. Right now we can run Bellacor in. And we're going to go after the spellcaster. Let's take the two units of Pink Horrors. You can go like so. Kill the summoners! And we're just going to bundle into them like this. This should be absolutely fine. Um, right, let's use this ability on these guys. Uh, where is that enemy lord? There we go. So 100% um, miscast chance for him. Right, we're going to hold on the shooting now to reduce on uh, friendly fire. And I mean, they're pretty much done. I am I'm not sad at losing demonettes, I have to say. Uh, they are my least favoured of the uh, demon units. Can we finish him off? I'm sure that we can. Eventually, can we? Can we finish him off? There we go, and he's gone right. There you go, a nice decisive battle. So we lost a unit of demonettes there. I say I'm not 
too sad about that. They are my least favourite of the demon units. Um, yes, they're fast, but I just rarely have that much use for them. I'd rather, if I was going to have something fast, I'd rather have Chaos Knights or something like that. Um, Blood Crushers or some sort of cavalry unit than that sort of light armoured fast infantry. But that is done, we get the rewards and the XP, which is absolutely fine. There's no uh, trade thing here, so what we're going to do is we're going to gift it Suck to it. our vassal, which is fine. We get a, a horse for our exalted hero. Faction is destroyed. Uh, lovely, and we can now build the growth um, building here. Bellacor. And we can uh, boost Bellacor's armor a touch more. And we can boost the armor of our exalted hero. We've also got a commandment available. So we're going to go for that uh, Chaos Corruption, I think. Yeah, Chaos Corruption. Uh, fantastic. So looking at where we're going next. I want to go across here, I want to go up there and I want to take a dark fortress as number of dark fortresses in this area but I'm thinking straight up here, go to war uh, with the world walkers and start taking these dark fortresses, that's what's uh, in my initial thoughts the um, Demon Prince. so let's just move Bellacore up to here and right we've got some cavalry, we've got some warhounds no more units there. Warband upgrades, there's none. Right, well, let's take the cavalry unit. I'm not really fussed about the warhounds. Okay, and let's end the turn. So, two factions now are down. Okay, Bellacor, now let's get him uh, into the water over here. There we go. We're now going to move him round to Troll Ford. So, nothing more to do at the moment. Like I say, the interesting thing for me here will be how aggressive do Bretonia get. Um... Albion is it's kind of stuck out there um, as a, almost like in between all of the Chaos Waste and then all the Order factions. Um, right, unit gain experience 25% for Marauders, that's not a bad thing. All right, what have we got here? Forsaken and Spawn, Norska, Chosen, Charioteer. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Rite of Ascension. Our thoughts crystallize. Okay, and now let's uh, come Voyage. up here. As we go after Troll Ford. And let's end the turn. I really want to get myself established a base of Dark Fortresses, get that income in before you we would think about invading the Empire or Bretonia en masse. Um, so yeah, I really want to get established uh, a, a good solid base and it's getting those dark fortresses, uh, which are key to that income. The first okay, so now we can go straight after. Yep, we'll declare war on him. He doesn't have any other allies, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to take that. That also doesn't have any trade. Like, what have we got here? Right, so we've got some spear infantry. Marauders, Marauders, Marauder Hunters, and Marauder Horsemen, which is fine. Good thing with this is not too much shoot, well, no shooting really apart from that little uh, cavalry skirmish unit. So um, we will be in a much better place when we uh, uh, arrive at the enemy as opposed to the getting focused down by four units of blue horrors, which is what happened to those demonettes. The Battle of Troll Ford. Right then, so that's where the demonettes were. So, mm, Order the I'm actually going to put you in behind like so. Right, channel the magic. 
start the deployment, start the battle, move. You face the first. Morkar could yeah, not let's, defeat me. Actually, we can what just sit here right now. You? I'm actually going to wait for them to uh, run up on us. These guys down over here. Spawn are going to go after them. Good thing with the spawn is they're being unbreakable. Your will. So let's go and make sure they're covered. Okay, they're engaged. These are going to engage over here. These are going to engage here. Let's have these four are going to come on here, and you're going to engage there. Bellacor, go straight in for the middle and cast onto these guys, which is very solid indeed. And these guys are going to have the Curse of Weakness on because they're facing uh, one of the weaker infantry units. You guys can now stop shooting to save on friendly fire. Bellacourt, down there you go. And, uh, yeah. They're all running, chaps. They are all running. Okay, let's just uh, see if we can get a little bit more just for that XP. Not a problem. Ah, oh, that'll do. We're not going to get much more out of that. Okay, perfect. 14 losses this time, 303 kills. Uh, they ran, but it was a settlement battle, so we didn't really care. Uh, they are gone from the campaign map. And all that talk about the demonettes, who actually ended up with the highest kill count in this game. Okay. Right, and this one, again, no trade resource, so we're going to gift it to it. our vassal, who now have a foothold on the main area of land here. Path to Glory unlocked, uh, which is nice. Unassigned Bellacore. skill points. Bellacore here, Dark Master. Melee attack, minus 40. Now, I think I'm going to keep pushing him from a survivability and the then combat. Uh, let's boost training on our exalted hero. Any more units here? Chaos trolls. Don't mind if I do. Come to me. And um, we just don't have enough to get those um, aspiring champions, which is a shame. So, uh, right then, end the turn there. The crown of domination is mine. End the turn there. We move to turn six. Hundred fifty seven factions left. Great, there's the Confederation. Right, we should have enough now to get those aspiring champions, which we will. And uh, now let's move Melancor up here. He doesn't seem to have a lot of movement range here for some reason. Uh, but we're gonna move him up uh, towards here to take that dark fortress. And then as we come through here, we're probably gonna skip that. Actually, no, that is a World Walker one, so we're going to take that. Um, and then we're going to move on, and we're going to take um, the Doom Keep. The Doom Keep. 
There's another Dark Fortress here. So we've got one, two, three Dark Fortresses. There's a nice triangle and there should be another Dark Fortress over the back here as well. Great. Need to keep an eye on our economy at the moment. We're treading on the edge. Drought, negative growth. We're a minus 17 economy, Let's less than start. ideal. Follow me. So let's move up here. Ooh, we've got uh, reasonably significant armies up here. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Fortunately, those armies are all outside of a dark fortress. So Wolfric has managed to gather himself a significant force. This is by turn seven, and he's already got that much. Uh, we have got that one, which is now going to give us Infernal March. It is mine now. Go right. On, right. Lurk in the shallows. We've got 80% ambush chance. Move I'm going to move him there. I'm going to see if we can bait an ambush here. What do we think? Are we going to be able to bait him? Unbridled ferocity, leadership and control. Tribute, leadership and control. Ambush is foiled. I'm going to go for it one more time. 80% is a decent chance, right? So let's just see. The first demon prince. Because if even if we can just bait him away far enough, right? Problem is I don't have lightning strike. No, he's not not going for it. You summon the first prince. Not going for a trade agreement. Yes, please. Great game. Corn Ascendant. All corn factions have access to more powerful and holy manifestations. Right. So we did. Corn we are still in ambush stats. And it wasn't foiled. Curses Boon. That gives us horrors. But we're pretty full anyway. Archeon is weak. It should have been me. It's a tough battle. That's a tough battle. And there's no real way I'll around crown it. Myself. Hmm. How to do this? Maybe we go around and we try and take this one and we come up from that direction with another Dark Fortress on board. One the more chance. We're going to go for one more chance at down. trying to bait the ambush. Ambush wasn't foiled. The ambush wasn't foiled. And Wolfric's now come out. If he can come a bit, if he can just move away from that dark fortress, one more then. If he doesn't bait it this time, we're going to try a different approach. There we go. So they're attacking us. It's a close victory with medium casualties. We didn't get the ambush, which is rubbish. Uh, but I think we can do something with this. We might have to use the terrain to our advantage, like that terrain here. Like we could maybe do something with this. 
Okay, let's fight this battle. I think we can do something with this. It's got favorable terrain. Bellicor's pretty tough. I know we got Wolfric in there. The mammoth's going to be the biggest problem. Um, and we don't have our trolls armored as yet. So we're going to have to think about how we do this. They don't have too much shooting. I'm pretty sure I can outshoot them. Okay, so I'm going to use the terrain here. This this here is um, looks like it could be pretty good for us to use um, because I want to try and focus my power. So the front line. Let's have not those. Let's have this as a front line. Wow, okay, we don't have a, uh, okay. So let's have this as a front line. Second line is gonna be this. So let's have that as a group. Right, that's a group. Then the next line is gonna be the demons then the next line is going to be these guys like so then the hell cannon and then these two channel the magic doesn't work for us start deployment start battle and let's pause it there right so I want this Actually, I want um, these guys first. Like so. Then we want the human one. Oh, this might be a bit tight, actually. We might not get everybody in here, so... Let's have you almost where you are. Then the human lines, which is from here. Then the demon line. No, we can't. Okay, so um, we need to be a bit further forward. Like so. Human line in like so. Demon line here. This line here. Hell cannon here. Bellacore here. Exalted hero here. If I can we get the other? No, here. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that and see how it looks. Yeah, I think that can work for us. I think that can work. I mean, he's attacked us. I'm expecting him to come out, right? At least I hope so. He's just going to wait for his reinforcements. And I don't consider this a corner camp. We've got clear terrain here. So I'm not using edges of the map. I'm actually using uh, uh, essentially a mountain pass. Uh, so that's why we've got the terrain here to do that as opposed to using invisible map edges so i'm i'm actually happy with this as a valid tactic um you know and we've seen that through military history through many many uh, years of um people using and funneling enemies through narrow mountain passes so that's the plan and he's gonna have to grind his way through um 
a pretty tough front line and uh, the hope is to wear him down with the pink horrors providing shooting hell cannon providing shooting in there um, and hell cannon currently shooting at the wrong unit so hell cannon uh, i want you to engage these folks there we go We did the right thing, definitely having the spawn on the front line because they are unbreakable. That's good. We're now starting to get some good hits onto that infantry. I think we'll um, increase the damage. So they got some magic in there as well. So once those mammoths come in, uh, so the feral mammoth, I want the uh, pink horrors on him pretty soon. And let's have Bellacourt come in. We're going to put Enfeebling Foe on that mammoth. So we get them. The mammoth is going to be the focus. Let's get them down. Right. Um, let's bring in the Exalted Hero down onto Wolfric. And there's that spell caster. Let's give him a hundred percent mischance. And let's boost the damage resistance of Bellacourt. These guys onto the other mammoths. And Bellacourt into them. Right, let's bring the human elements forward. Let's uh, get the hell cannon engaging on here. Trolls, let's bring them down to help. And let's get those aspiring champions in here as well onto that Marauder Chieftain. Core now. Um, let's get some enfeebling on that feral mammoth again. And let's get a better core engaged on him. Keep horrors. Keep shooting the big guy. And let's bring these marauder horsemen forward here as well. over here right, let's um, bring in the uh, demon units now and, uh, it's it's that feral mammoth that's causing the biggest problem well, of course, keeps stopping engaging him, which is a real pain. Withdraw. There we go. There we go. Bellacor now is trying to stop that route that's taking place. Hell Cannon still putting in the damage. Let's get the uh, Hell Cannon onto these guys now. The exalted Hero. Let's get him onto Wolfric.
There's mammoths now taking a lot of a lot of punishment. Where's that sorcerer? Enemy sorcerer. Let's uh, give him some uh, of his 100% miscast chance. The important thing here is, is that we don't lose any units. Right, I'm going to put Enfeebling Foe now on Wolfric. And if we're able to defeat him, that will be excellent. That will be excellent. Hell Cannon still doing its thing. Let's give it some additional uh, bonuses. And they are, they're broken. They are broken, but we're going to go after Wolfric at least. Right, we're going to go after Wolfric at least. So we didn't lose any units there. Uh, we're going to replenish them at the end of this. Let's get rid of, oh, that's the Lord actually. Yeah, that's another Lord dead. Uh, did Wolfric escape? No, but there is that sorcerer. I'd like to get him. If we can. Let's send Bellacor down. Bellacor is the fastest, obviously, he flies. Uh, this does affect his speed. And let's enfeeble him as well. We can get rid of the characters. Getting rid of that sorcerer would be really nice. Go on, Bellagor, you can do it. <laughs> it always makes me laugh at the end of this. They're running away. It takes an age for Bellagor and some spawn to take out this one little sorcerer. I, I still don't understand why it takes so long. There we go. So it was a close victory. It was a close victory, but it was worth it. I think that was definitely worth it. We only lost 279 overall. Um, we killed uh, 824 from Wolfric's army. Wolfric did get away and 319 from the other one, but we did kill uh, a sorcerer in that as well and another enemy lord. So... Uh, pretty solid and the feral mammoth went down um, which was which was nice he still does have some mammoths left unfortunately uh, but we saw once we managed to get those pink horrors shooting the right target it worked out quite well we have picked up a charmed shield as well which is nice um, we are going to take the army replenishment we are going to take the army replenishment and they're now in march stance so, enemy killed, and we've got the charmed shield, blood feud. We defeated Wolfric, so we've got plus five bonus uh, against infantry and 10% charge bonus. Uh, we did gain the Blade of Shadows. We gained a legendary weapon, Undivided Authority, plus 2. Income from post-battle loot, plus 25%. Melee attack, plus 8. Weapon strength, plus 15. And passive ability, Blade of Shadows. So he is now even more powerful. And we've got plus 5 campaign movement range. Very nice. Very nice. All right, plus 10 armor, which I think could be good as it well. Is mine now. Uh, now let's have a look at what we're going to give him. Let's give him hard to hit. Um, right, so he's got the charm shield, which is nice. The trickster shard and that weapon, uh, which is fantastic. Harbinger. And yeah, let's give chaos strategist to our exalted hero. Bellacor is going to be the fighter, right? So Exalted Hero, this is going to give us additional experience, which is great for levelling uh, stuff up, and then also Casualty Replenishment, which never goes amiss. Um, undivided Authority, um, plus one. Armour, plus ten. 
Magical attacks and weapon strength. I think that would be really useful. Okay, off. Um, right then. So in terms of upgrades, okay, blood letters, no. Nurgle, no. Demonettes, rank four. And I think horror. So they're all rank four. Okay, to get that. Okay, the right then. Token. So what's the garrison? What's the garrison? But these guys are in trouble. God maker. No, we didn't have enough. I thought with the plus five percent we had enough. Okay. The first demon this one's going to be interesting, uh, but we can level that one up. That's absolute critical shame. I honestly thought with that plus five percent we had enough to make it. Um, is it going to bite us? Fear me. Is it going to bite us? Shadow. Right, he wants a peace treaty, so no thanks. So yeah, he wants to fight. We've got the garrison in here now as well. Um, okay. Terrain. Okay. I'm wondering if we can just use this bit of terrain here, funnel them in between the two. Just have to watch that flank. Okay, I think we can do something with that. I think we can do something with that. I mean, Bellacore's a tough cookie, right? So, and Wolfric's very much hurt. Wolfric's very much hurt. Okay, here we are. So that's wider than I thought thought it was going to be. Now we saw the benefit of keeping them kind of hemmed in. I mean, we could use this pass way across here. We could use that. We use this area here. Right, if we used these guys, how far do they come across? Okay, let's have you guys on the front line, like so. And let's have you backed up by these guys. Like so. With these right behind. But I want you spread out a little bit to cover as much as the front line as possible. The hell cannon just here. And actually let's have the horsemen in between. Bellacore. Bellacore like so, and the Exalted Hero like so. Let's channel the magic. At least we know that he doesn't have a Sorcerer now, right? So the question is, is he going to try and flank? Is he going to try and flank? He's going to wait for his reinforcements to come in, which are coming in now. OK. 
Okay, let's have the blood letters like this. Okay, they're backed up by Bellacor, right? So anyone that comes in on this flank is going to have to go through Bellacor and two units of blood letters. No, oh, no, he's not playing. He's not. He's not going to go for that at all, is he? Or is he? Or is he? Let's see. I think the bulk of the force is still going to come this way. Which I'm, I'm fine with that. Right, Hell cannon's engaged. Just keep the hell cannon on those. Good, hell cannons now switch targets, which is nice. Okay, that's not a problem. They won't last long against the pink horrors. God so the key here is definitely going to be um, getting Wolf Rick down early, I think. You will run! So yeah, let's get his damage shield up and missile block chance. Okay, let's get in that combat. Back them up here. Wolfric's running. This is going to be interesting. All right, Wolfric's down. My coronation. So let's get Bellacor in here. Alright, Hell Cannon, you're going to reinforce these guys here. As are the Pink Horrors. The Horsemen are coming in here. In fact, the Pink Horrors are going to engage this and this. And you guys are going to engage here as well. It's going to be a tough fight, but it's going to be worth it. Alright, Bellacor no. over here. Let's get um, Spell on. Break them. Pain is Let's a get you engaged. Bellacor! And here comes Bellacorp. Trolls are retreating. Their shooting units are the biggest problem right now. Right, let's break that unit in the middle. Right, trolls go and re in fact, trolls go and reinforce here. Horrors keep 
shooting. Lord of Torment! Bellacore on this unit. And damage resistance up. Okay. Okay, they're out of control, low threat, but let's get rid of them at least. I am eternal. Okay, on to these ones. All will be destroyed. Destroy that. I, I would say a lot of the casualties we've taken have been down to shooting units. Right, in comes Bellacore here. Alright, plague bearers over here. Let's get our uh, warrior in here and let's block those guys off. This is definitely one. It's definitely one. It's not going to have been easy. We've taken the casualties from it, but that's okay. Alright, let's uh, finish off that lord. You guys can stop shooting now. So we will take, so we did use, lose a unit of blood letters, uh, but we are going to replenish, and I think we should be able to pick up another unit anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Come on, kill him. Kill him. There we go. And it's a Pyrrhic victory. Instead of a close victory, uh, yeah, uh, we weren't able to funnel as much as I wanted. They did come pretty hard on that flank. Cost us unit blood letters, but that's fine. Everyone got good kills out of it. We should be able to get at least a couple of units up to Exalted, which will be nice. And we can replace the unit that we lost. And Wolfric is dead. And they lost more than we did. They lost more than we did, so it was a good trade. It was, and we got Talisman of Endurance, which is a ward saving army replenished by 16%. And it's now our initiative, essentially. And the other armies all died, right? Because I didn't have to chase them because they all marched. Okay, good. Good. So, um, a positive trade there. So we can get another unit of aspiring champions, which is nice. Um, can we get any demon units? Not at the moment. Uh, we can get pink horrors. Which we can't perform yet. Number of uses, sacrifice souls. So we can only do that, but... Um, yeah, actually we can do that. Let's Let's do that. Four token. Okay. So where did we... We didn't get the uh, unit of horrors. They're obviously, we can't... Oh, because we're not in our own territory, right? So, um... That's fine. I Let's... We've got another unit of the aspiring champions. Bef Let's do their... Harbinger. Um... Skills. So... Thick skinned armor on him and Bellacore. Right. Let's give him. Oh, missile resistance is nice, but let's give him Foe Seeker. I gain the and first. then we've got. I really want to get him in here. They are hurt, so I definitely think it's worth going the into um, siege this out. Time. Actually, but I want to upgrade the units if I can, so. 
Uh, not you, but Slanesh, we can... Oh, no. Exalted. Ah, uh, yeah, because we haven't unlocked it through the technology tree yet. That's a shame. Okay. Immediately. Technology tree is slightly different, of course, for this technology tree. Uh, okay, so let's go. At least they don't have too much shooting now to fight the battle. We've got shatter stone as well, so we can shatter the towers. Um... Try and maximise our shooting where we can. But having two units of aspiring champions now will be nice to push in through the gates, along with um, uh, along with uh, uh, the exalted hero and those plague bearers. I think I'm going to send in with them. And there's not even any gates to siege down, so, okay. The question is, is where do we want to go in? They're all pretty narrow. So if we go after this one, we can break off for that and for the mid. Okay, let's go in here. So leading it, it's going to be our two units of Aspiring Champions backed up by two units of trolls backed up by plague bearers I want pink horrors on either side hell cannon directly behind and then remaining units let's just form a line across the back uh, Exalted Hero goes in with the main force. Bellacore stays back to cast. And we should be ready for the battle. Okay, so let's channel the magic. And... Um, let's finish this battle and we'll be done. So once we've done this battle, that'll be this episode over. And um, we'll be all good. Right, next. Start uh, deployment. Start the battle. Okay. What is going on? Uh, right, in we go. And... Like so. Hell Cannon. He'll move forward and we'll deal with that tower, in fact. And the exalted hero here as well. Better core up behind along with the horseman over here. And then this line minus that moved up to about here. They have actually pulled right back, so let's get the trolls just to wait a second. I am exalted. And let's go this way. Fight. Okay, you're all going to go up there like so. Right, let's send you guys in to go here. You're going to go here. You guys destroy that. That tower is getting hit by the hell cannon. Let's boost that. And then I want pink horrors there. Pink horrors there. So we kind of sent an advance force in, get them engaged, tie them up. It'd be nice to get that barricade down. It's not gone down yet. Come the plague bearers. A little bit slow. 
but they'll get there. Okay, they're doing their bit. Alright, pink horrors, let's engage them. And in fact, let's have these pink horrors engage them as well. That tower is nearly gone. Horrors are doing their thing. Exalted hero. Still haven't broken down that barricade. Let's get see if we can get that barricade down. Because that barricade's just blocking us right now to where I want to get to. We break it down today. Right, Bellacore, let's bring you in now. There we go. Good, they're running. So let's bring them in here. I hate sieges. Oh, it's so annoying. Look at it. It's just like awful to try and actually move around in these settlements. Alright, where are you engaging? Let's have you go after that tower if you can reach it. Let's have you guys go after them. They've won here, so let's move up. Bring Bellacor back. We'll capture this area. They're about to go. They're gone. Next. Let's finish these ones off. Um, okay. Let's engage over here. Bellacore cast on these. And like so. Good, they're engaging, they're running. Let's go after the Marauder Horseman next. Let's bring these horsemen up behind. Let's boost the damage. Good, they've broken after these ones. Come on, Pink Horrors, you can do it. Just need you to break this unit. They're broken. Right, let's go into the middle. Okay. Like so. Bellacor can come here. Let's engage these guys. And we've got about... This battle not long left now. We've nearly done them. Uh, Bellacore getting shot at. Let's move him back. Perfect. Fact. Uh, actually, no, they're anti-large, so... I'm going to bring Bellacor back over here. I really don't want to lose him and take any more damage than I have to. Chaos, the only master. Let's go up Chaos here. Gods. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys engaged over here. And let's get our exalted hero in there. Nice. Just 
just need to break this barricade down. Go on, guys, you can break it. You can break it. Break it down. There we go. All right. Pink horrors into those guys. This is down and through. Engage here. Exalted heroes, I need some help. Bellicor's, I think, getting shot at by something, so let's get him going. Uh, and we've won. It's done. It's over. It's over. We've we've done it, which is fantastic because we've got the Dark Fortress, which is a great way to finish the first episode. Uh, we got really involved with the campaign here, so let's end uh, the battle there. Decisive victory. We've captured that Dark Fortress. We've got Wolfric now on the back foot. We can now regenerate both Bellicor's health um, and the army itself, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And we've got ourselves a secondary Dark Fortress. So a, a fairly brutal start, but we've overcome uh, the odds and uh, taken that Dark Fortress. And taken the casualties uh, along the way, but um, we're still fighting. We've still got a decent army uh, with us. So there we go, and uh, we're not gifting to Vassal, we're occupying it with a Dark Fortress. There we go. Uh, we got another arcane item. We've secured the province, and there we go. There's Bellacor, and uh, gifted units there. We can take another one of those, which is great. And we're going to wrap it up there, guys. We've actually gone slightly over our normal time of an hour, but we got really into this campaign. Turn 13 of our Bellacor campaign. It's 50 turns. No auto resolve, normal campaign difficulty, normal battle difficulty. Tune back in for the second episode as we wrap up um, the World Walkers of Wolfric and start to go into our next set of Dark Fortresses. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments down below. And uh, if you want to see more content, please hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do. It means a lot for me. Uh, so thank you for that in advance. Lots more Total Warhammer 3 uh, Legendary Lord introductions to go. We're going to finish off Bella Course, the last of the Warriors Chaos. You've been watching The Ghost Hour. Tune back in for the next episode. <laughs>